89, very high. I don't, yep. I don't really think I expected anything less than a high score. So, um, this game came out uh, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yesterday. You did, I imagine, have a chance to play it. Yeah, I played like four hours or so last night. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I mean it's uh, it's Persona. I mean it's a remake of Persona Three, which is kind of the first game in the kind of what persona turned into one and mm -hmm. two are very different from okay. what i've from what i've heard okay. but three four and five all follow like a somewhat similar structure with the the kind of social aspects and the social stats and the social links and then like the um the combat and the dungeons and stuff so mm -hmm. um yeah i mean it starts quite a bit faster than uh persona 5 i would say okay um most of my time yesterday was spent in like in the dungeon uh which in this game is called tartarus and like the one thing to be aware of so persona 5 has handcrafted like dungeons for each of the like bosses and arcs yep. in this game the dungeon is called tartarus and the floors are like it's a tower and the floors are like procedurally generated. Basically. Oh, okay. And it's like kind of like basic, to be honest. And it's like it's not what Persona Five is with their handcrafted dungeons. And P four P four is on is the same way. Yeah. Actually. Um. So again, this is a remake of an older game, and they're not completely changing it like supposedly they made some improvements to tartarus uh from what it was in the original p3 yep uh or any of the like updated because there's persona 3 there's persona 3 portable and there's per persona 3 fes so there's three different ver and now there's this one which is reload um but supposedly the updates from portable and fes aren't in this version so like there was an epilogue in oh, persona 3 portable okay. that apparently isn't in this version okay and i think fes there was like a playable female protagonist which also isn't in this okay so um hmm. but other than that i mean it's persona there's like you know a town area to explore um with a bunch of things you can increase your social stats you go to school you talk to people and then you can like explore the dungeon and the combat the combat is very similar to uh, persona 5 hit weaknesses uh they put baton pass in the game though you don't get buffs from doing uh baton pass um which is um Baton passes where when you hit a weakness, you can then pass the the extra turn you get for hitting a weakness to a different character. Here. Have, okay. them, have them attack. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's Persona. If you like Persona Four or Persona Five, you'll probably like this. Again, it's a bit of it. It's an older game, and they didn't like they updated the graphics and the voice actors, and I would assume the music. Um, and I'm sure they made a decent number of quality of life improvements, but it is still Persona 3. There are some things with it that are just aren't going to be as good as per as Persona 5 is. Um, but supposedly this game has, at least from what I've heard, it has the best main story of those like three games of four, five, or three, four, and five, I should say. Okay. So we'll see. But yeah, I mean Persona. It's just different. Like, it's a vibe. Playing Persona is just a vibe. This game is a slightly different vibe from Persona 5, but it's a very different and, like, interesting series, and it's just, like, a vibe to play Persona. It's definitely not for everybody, but, yep. you know, again, if you've liked Persona in the past, three, four, like, three, four, or five, you'll you'll probably like this one, too. So, Gotcha. And just to, I just want to note, there are 72 reviews for this game. Yep. So... 16 for Suicide Squad. Yeah, Obviously, no. they, didn't send, they didn't send review codes out, at least early enough. Who knows? Uh, it's just ridiculous. Um, uh, continuing forward, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. Um, 82. 82 is a good score. Yeah, 82 is solid. 82 is a good score. Um, this one, I think you also mentioned you have put some time into. Uh, this one came out uh, the 29th, which was Monday? Monday. 
Monday, I believe, uh, is the yeah, correct er, one. Early access started on a Sunday night, uh, oh. 9 p.m. Pacific time, though it was a lot of places around the world. It was uh, 12 a.m. on Monday. Sure. Um, though the official release date, I believe, was actually Thursday. It didn't come out on PC until Thursday, because early access was only on PlayStation. You had to pre-order the digital version on PlayStation in order to play the early access. You didn't have to d pre-order, like, the deluxe edition, but you had to pre-order just... one of the editions on PlayStation to play early access. Can we not, like, need, like, a set of rules or, like, a... I I appreciate the infographics that people make, but can we just make it easier? Can it just be like, can we just go back to this is when the game comes out? Just, there you go. And every, everybody gets to play it just on, like, on that day. If you have the regular edition, you get this. If you have the deluxe edition, you get this. And by the way, you can have a 24-hour early access. If you get the super deluxe blowjob premium <laughs> edition, you get three days early access. And you get but, a character skin. But only on PlayStation. But, but only, only on digitally. <laughs> if you buy the digital version of that, you don't get one of those things. But if you buy the physical deluxe edition on PlayStation, you get this. It's just like, guys, can we just make it simpler? <laughs> um, I mean, I know that this is not that complicated, but like, man, I just like, uh, I'm getting so tired of being like, by the way, there's a there's a digital and regular physical deluxe edition. I'm just like. And there are differences between each. And I'm like, holy fuck, can we just get rid of the infographic and just be like, here's the game? Oh, sorry. Grand Blue. Yeah. Um, I mean, as Ghost said, this is this is anime JRPG Monster Hunter. Okay. Um, that's what this is. There is a story, there is a story mode. Uh the story, if you were to like bum rush it, is from what I heard, only about ten, only about ten hours. I think it took me about twenty because I was doing like some of the side quests and like stuff that were okay. that were available. Um, um, and the story is very like basic. It's very basic and generic. Like, okay. you know, um, evil, evil. Uh, well, they're they're called the Church of Avia, but like evil, evil people want to summon god and destroy the world to so they can get to the old church. A place called estelucia which is like the island of the at the end of the world i don't know island of the uh, island island Who of the knows? god yeah evil thing evil people want to do evil, evil things church got it whatever yeah evil church um, there's there's no such thing as creativity anymore by the way in these things evil church oh okay got it thanks so yeah, you you go around fighting things and trying to stop them. I mean, it's like the draw of this game is like the combat and the the end game. Mm -hmm. Um and yeah, I mean there's like 20 different there's 20 different characters to play as. One of them's like a secret quote unquote secret character that you unlock for like playing the story. Okay. Um the rest you unlock through these things uh, you start with six these kind of like i guess you can see all of them here and then there's lyria who's the blue haired girl on the left she's like the she's not a playable character but she's important to the story okay um, um so you start with those six that you can play as and then you can unlock 13 other characters who i assume are all in the got in the gotcha game um, oh, right this is a gotcha this is like a yeah, gotcha this, brand this okay. is a got the uh, grand blue grand blue fantasy is a gotcha game uh, right. that i believe it's not out in the west i think it's only in in the hey, east um it's a gotcha so there's more okay but okay this, this isn't the gotcha though this is this isn't a got no this is not a gotcha there there are okay the way you like upgrade your characters and your weapons and like all these different oh, no. systems they have in the game are very gotcha like, but okay. you can't pay f you can't okay. pay for it. Okay. So it's okay. like there's no pay to there's no pay to win in this game. Okay. But like you know your weapons, you have to like level them up with these like materials that the, you know these like fortitude yeah. shards that you yeah. get, and then you have to pay money for it, and then you, and then the level gets capped out, and then you have, you have to, to farm it. material farm materials to uncap yeah. the weapons level you level up more and then you uncap sure. it again and then it goes yeah so this is like it that's a gotcha level, up level systems up, yeah. are like so it, it's all if you ever played a gotcha game before like it's the bad. way you like level up your characters are exactly like that and the way you yeah. unlock characters 
are these things called crewmate cards which you get by playing through the story you get a few and then there are some that you get through the the quest counter which is the monster sure. hunter thing where you go to the quest counter you pick the quest you want to do and it's going to be like either kill a bunch of enemies fight a boss sure whatever defend this point for a certain amount of time sure um and um yes yeah, so you can get some crewmate cards uh from from that and then you get to basically pick whatever character you want to unlock sure. um with with a crewmate card which is also very gotcha other than it not being random you it's not random yeah pick, but you get a ticket you get a ticket to unlock a character sure. basically yeah sure um um but yeah again other than that it's like monster hunter the it's it's a very it's a very grindy game uh you fight the enemy variety is like okay uh it's not great there are quite a few bosses there are like a few reskins of like the same boss um, okay here and there there's okay. like these there's like dragons there's like four elemental dragons they're all like slightly different but um so and there's the dragon yeah. these like uh I don't know, giant like lizard enemies basically, and there's like three yellow. There's like a, a earth one, a, a ice one, and a fire one as well. So okay. there's like elemental reskins of those bosses, and then there's the story the story bosses. Um, and yeah, the end game is just like playing through these playing through these quests, which a lot of them are boss fights, and then just like grinding mater grinding materials and like upgrading your characters. It's it you know once you get to the high levels and stuff, there's a a skill tree called like the mastery tree and you know the nodes get very expensive later in the tree and stuff like that and you just yeah you just upgrade your character and then there's these you know sigils which are like the equip like uh ultimate like equipment system there's there's a lot of like systems and like ways to customize your character and upgrade your character it's very well thought out and like very well made and the game is fun to play all the characters have like a uh, like mechanic or like they're all like relatively simple but mm. they all play a little bit differently um, okay whereas like grand the main character or the captain as they call him is like he's like a dynasty warriors character where you have like you know square triangle triangle square square triangle triangle okay and then he's got he, combos, like yeah. when you do your combo finishers he builds up his his arts uh level which can build up to four and when you're the higher your arts level the stronger like the skills that you use you can equip four skills on any okay. character um so yeah and you can play this game uh online online co-op you can do quit you can do quests like online um mm. play with other people mm. um so yeah i mean the game the game is fun to play but it's again it's like monster hunter it's very grindy it's about just like upgrading your characters and fighting the stronger bosses and yep. it's got stuff like that the monster hunter gameplay loop yeah it's which, the monster hunter which, I mean, gameplay loop. The, yeah. the story is pretty sh the story is pretty short yeah. as i said but they get but and most people will say the game doesn't really start until you've like until you get to there the beaten the story and like gotten into the gotten yeah. in the end game a little bit yeah, um, i mean that's fair like oh you could say the same thing about some other games. Like some people would say that about like a Diablo game. Like, oh yeah. Now that you beat the story, let the game begin. <laughs> the game yeah. has begun. So but yeah, there's again, there's a lot of characters to uh to choose from and and play as and, and the game the game plays fun. Um and this game obviously it's not Power World, but like this game I've seen been like catching on a little bit too, where it's done i think it's gotten like a hundred thousand concurrent or so on steam yeah that's really good DC a couple days ago which is pretty good that's um, really good that's really good and i've heard some people like some posts on reddit people saying like yeah i wasn't gonna get this game and then i saw people playing it and then i like decided to pick it up and i'm really liking it so this game's gotten some like good spread on word of mouth as well yep. a decent number of like streamers and like youtubers are covering it and stuff yeah. so this game's doing doing pretty well too and they are going to be they at least have announced that they're releasing two more characters i think in march and then in april they're going to be releasing like a new end game fight or something like that so they're going to be like releasing 
at least some new content i don't they haven't really released a roadmap and said like if they have plans down the line but i assume if assume if it does well enough that they're going to continue to support it and like yeah add content and stuff i like mean that. like monster hunter has such a such a big community so yeah. you just tap into that you you gotta but you gotta like flush it with you know content pretty consistently otherwise like people are gonna do everything and then obviously they'll stop yeah. So you kind of have to be consistent with it. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see if they decide to do that or just kind of leave it as is. Um. Anyway, yeah, don't have don't have much to add there. Yeah, I've heard some things oh, about this, but yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's uh, yeah. I mean, it's 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 just a fun game. As I said, the story is kind of what it is, kind of whatever. I think the the it, as far as like the I didn't even really talk about the reviews, but most of them say the same thing in that like yeah the story is like short and generic and the game is like very grindy but it's pretty fun so yep. and i i think that that score is is fair i think i would give it in like the seven to eight range like i think the game is i think the game is fun but to me i have not played monster Hunter before i'm not a super like grindy game type guy yep but um but i have enjoyed what i've played of this game i've you know actually put like quite a lot i think i put like 35 hours into it or something okay. like this week since sunday so that's quite a bit I played yeah. it quite quite a bit this week um, yeah it's a lot so yeah it's it's pretty it's actually quite it's quite fun to play um so gotcha okay talk about tekken then we're not tekken people but 90 yeah so this tekken came out on no, last week. I'm dumb. It was last, last Thursday. It was last. It was last week. Yeah. Thir last Thursday, Tekken 8 came out. So, obviously, since we took the we had the week off last week, we didn't get to talk about it at all. But 90. I mean, Tekken's one of the big fighting games. It's yeah. up there with, um, you know, uh, oh god, Street, Street Fighter. Fighter Mortal you, know, Kombat, you got Mortal, Mortal Kombat, Kombat. And you got Tekken. But I've seen some of the customization people are doing with their Tekken fighters. I. I always find that's funny to see the posts of people doing their custom characters. I, I don't know what it is, but custom characters nowadays are so funny to see in these fighting games. So, I mean, 90 is very high. Whoever, anybody in the fighting game community is having a great time, I'm imagining. Uh, they're, they're just having a splendid time with all these fighting games coming out. Um, yeah, they've been they've been eating, eating good the, pa yeah. the past year with, you had Street Fighter, you had Mortal Kombat. The Grand Blue fighting game got an update, I think, like at the end of last year as well, and now we have Tekken. It's wild. Um, it's wild how the fighting games are going crazy here. Um, all great, all getting great scores. Though, though all doing well. Apparently, Mortal Kombat like died really fast after it came out. Like it sold really well, and people were really hyped about it, and then it, it died like mm. really fast. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's interesting. I didn't follow that much at all, but that's very interesting that that happened. Um, I don't have anything much to add. I mean, like. I just like seeing the characters people post. Yeah. <laughs> All the custom characters are so silly. Um, I love it. Yeah, I mean, again, we don't really play fighting games here, but, you know, the fighting game community seems to really like Tekken 8. There were some server issues, apparently, when it when it came out. Like, it was crashing when you were playing online. Yeah. Um, but I think they worked that out at this point. Um, but generally, people have uh, really liked Tekken. Hey, apparently, the story is actually like the story mode's actually really good in mm. this one too. So, yeah. interesting. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I'm glad that fighting games continue to focus have like the story focus still. Yeah, I always like it. They could very easily just say fuck it to the story, and it's just like yeah. fighting game. So it's 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 cool that they're they're continuing to invest in that. I there was a that. point where there was there was a point like maybe like 10 years ago or so where they kind of did that where they kind of like a lot of the fighting games kind of like yeah we don't need to do the story, mode, like, story. and they, they kind of brought it they kind of brought it back yeah this new this new wave recently. i'm sure i'm sure people were like can we can we get a little bit back like i don't know we like doing a little bit of story stuff too um anyway it's good it's good to see that i, I like that that's yeah. very nice okay Ooh. still going here So, last week, on Wednesday, there was an update to streamer payout programs. Let's just let's just jump right to it. So, expanding Partner Plus program to give more streamers access to increased net revenue shares on paid and gifted subs. 
Uh, eliminating the 100k cap for 70-30 net revenue share uh, recipients. Changing the Prime Gaming subscription payout model to a fixed rate for each country. Um, but also expanding the Partner Plus program. So let's look at this. Um, there was one in here. Here we go. We are allowing affiliates to qualify. So this was actually a big one. Um, I do know there are affiliates I've seen at least that would actually hit the tier for the partner for that, that, that would qualify for the either 60, 40, I don't know about the 70, 30, but the 60, 40, at least I do know there are some that would qualify. It's not actually that crazy for some affiliates to get to this point, um, which is this level one 60, 40 split for hundred plus points. Um, I do think it's a big deal that affiliates got into this. Um, yeah, there are definitely some that do hit that. So this part of it to me was actually the, the big one, the eliminating the hundred K cap. Sure. The prime gaming subscription part. I do think people did point out there was like a whole table of rates that you could look at for the prime uh, payouts. So fixed rate for prime gaming subs. So you can see. You can see how it's obviously different in certain areas. So, for example, if we go to, like, uh, the U.S., it's $2.25, right? But if you look at another area, it's $0.09 cents in Turkey. Yikes. So, kind of an interesting, like, update. Um, I don't know. That seems but, So, they're really making crazy. a fixed rate in every country now, right? Yeah, it's a fixed rate. For most streamers, this change will not have a major impact on the revenue. While any decrease will feel disappointing, the difference between what streamers receive today for Prime Gaming subscription and what they will receive after the change to fixed rates is less than 5% in the vast majority of countries. So, I've seen people talk about this one. Um, this, was, this was an interesting change to have it be a fixed rate. Um, but this one, to me... A lot of people were pointing out particularly some affiliates that i've been following they're like hey guys i'm actually pretty close and this is a big deal like getting 60 40 is a big deal you know help me help me get to this one and you can see the point distributions here you know tier three is six points so obviously tier three being being a huge benefit yeah. in there two being two one being one so it's a big deal um for for affiliates in particular any anyone's gonna try and push for this 60 40 split uh tier three is so expensive though so it's like 25 bucks a month right yeah it's very expensive so it's interesting when you look at it that does math out pretty well with the difference in price there to points um but it's just like man i i don't think i'd ever be inclined to tier three sub to anybody yeah it's crazy it's it's a little bit much and i don't see any i don't really see like a significant benefit of it that's the thing, like tier one to tier three to me, you get a couple more emotes. That's about it. Yeah. Um, for me at least. So I don't really see the benefit. Um, but for the streamer, it's obviously huge. So oh, yeah. uh I thought this was big. I thought this was a big deal. I think this was a W, uh, for the most part. Yeah, for the most part it is. And That's I think good. for affiliates, it's like, okay, I can actually push for something. Like I can I can fight for something. I mean you'd a hundred subs, but still, yeah. Well, a hundred points. 100 points that's, that's 100 tier one it's 100 tier one subs or 50 tier twos or i don't know anyway but the point is yeah 100 points whatever the on the base it's 100 tier one subs i get what you mean um, i think the vast majority of subs are, are tier one i see some tier tier twos here and there i don't know if i've ever seen a tier three sub i've seen like, i don't i i think i have seen one person do a tier three before not like to me or anything but like and i'm just like i you know, look, it's your money. I get it. It's your money. But at the same time, you kind of have to like sit down and think like, okay, what is the benefit of a tier three? I get a couple more emotes. And I guess I'm a tier three sub. So the streamer will notice me a bit more. Yeah. I don't notice know. me, senpai. I guess so. Yeah, I guess that's it. Anyway. Um, yeah, that was it for the for the Twitch update from last week. I thought it was good though. I mean, like, it's it's yeah. a positive thing. Don't have much else to say on that. Nope. Okay. 
Age of Wonders Primal Fury content pack and a free wolf update coming February uh, 27th. So later this month. And um, month. We're excited to announce the uh, Primal Fury content pack and free wolf update are coming in less than a month. How exciting. What will you get for this? I wonder. New forms. Uh, Lupine and Goatkin. Goats? We can be goats? Yeah, you can be a goat. That's I'm a in. Weird, that, that's a weird one. One Like the wolf Love and it. Lupine are like werewolves. That makes sense. But man, goats. That I can't wait to become a goat. I can't wait to be a goat goat person um new tome great well new realm sorry new tome famous and tome of the stone storm born i can't say storm for some reason storm born new primal culture from the tunneling spider to the glacial mammoth choose one of seven primal animals for your people to worship and shape their physical and spiritual lives interesting yeah that they released a dev diary on this which i didn't post but i'll this this um culture is variable in terms of the affinity you get one nature affinity and then you get one of any of the other affinities Ooh, based on the spirit based on the spirit that, animal the spirit animal love it pick. Yeah. love it love that that's good that's really great four achievements okay four new pre-made rulers that's fine that's always fine like pre-made rulers are fine um six new wildlife and compositions that expand the variety of the units you'll encounter that's great love to see that Four new mounts. Love it. Love new mounts. Loved when they added the bear. Yep. New primal interface skin. Wolf update, which is the free part of it. Uh, war bounty system, new form traits, rec uh, hero recruitment update. Interesting. Necromancy overhaul. That one's also very interesting. Uh, Pantheon update, quality of life updates, and more. Good stuff. All good stuff. I mean, like, I don't know about the necromancy overhaul, but I it'd be interesting... To, to they see already, what that is. I wouldn't say that wouldn't say they overhauled it before, but they they made they, changes. They made changes to it in terms of like the costs and stuff like yeah. that before, but I guess they're still not happy with it, so they're gonna change it again. Yeah. Hero recruitment update would be interesting too. I'm not sure how they're handling that. The hero recruitment right now is I don't know. I mean it's you, you just buy your hero, right? But there's a little bit more to it, I guess, um, than just buying your next hero. Like I don't know, the the pool of heroes you, you get isn't always great is what i'll say you don't get like great pre preset hero pool options at times um for the hero recruitment part i'd be interested to see what kind of updates they're thinking for that um, uh the part that i saw is that like your hero is not tied to city cap anymore there was a way to like get heroes before you put down a new another hero before you put down a new city or something oh like man that. that's super interesting because there are oh and I also think they're making it so you can't put more than one hero in an army. You can only have one hero per army. Oh, that's so a massive you change. Can't, you can't make a hero stack or anything like that. So That's a <laughs> massive change. Yeah. That is one of the biggest... It is like, like secretly, that is one of the biggest changes in, yeah. in the game. Well, I know one of the metas is like just like hero stack. You just basically. hero stack. Because, yeah. it, because heroes are broken. They're, they're yeah. the most powerful unit. They are. So... You just stack a whole army of heroes and like who stops you? No, um I, I think that's a good update though. I think and it's a good change. It, it's interesting. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works. Because you could that also makes going into those um wonders much more difficult. Cause you you could hero stack into a wonder. Yeah, the ancient wonders, yeah. So that makes them much harder too. Unless there's like a rule maybe you can hero stack in a wonder. Um yeah, that means you can't take wonders so easily. Okay, that's a huge change. That's a really big change. All right, that's yeah. interesting. I'm I'm excited for that change. That's changing up my strategy a lot, actually, in how I handle uh, doing like wonders, taking on fights, or even just doing fighting another city. Like fighting another city, I used to yeah. stack like four. If I had four heroes, I would stack two in the same army. So, yeah, interesting changes. Cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Love this game. I do. Maybe I should play it again soon before the update. Or I could always just wait. But good stuff. Age of Wonders is still a very fun game. I, I really enjoy it. So I'm glad to see these yep. updates. And that's like a pretty significant balance change. So I'm, I'm very intrigued that, that they're doing those significant changes still. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put the Netflix thing later. Because 
it's Netflix. It's a, it's a, it's a um, anything else on Age of Wonders? 